Okay, so I'd always do something kind of like whole grain, brown rice, whole wheat, brown rice, uh, chicken, and some sort of broccoli, most likely, or asparagus. Or I would do Brussels sprouts. And those are kind of the three main green veggies that I went with um, because we loved them. We made them all different kinds of ways. Um, and if it wasn't for like a meal prep or something that I'd do something simple that week, um, I would just have leftovers from dinner the night before because I still cooked at home every night. And I would just pack those up for lunch the next day. And that was a wide range of stuff. Um, and then for um, snacks, it was always like a protein bar or yogurt and berries with honey or because um, we always get the Faye, like the plain Greek yogurt, nothing crazy. Um, and so I just noticed that like, okay, I'm doing all the right things for the most part, but I'm missing something. And remember, I didn't have a good upkeep on my probiotics. I was always forgetting to take it. Right when quarantine started, I was like, you know what? I'm home and I'm about to get my gut in check. I'm about to figure out what's going on. So Trent sat down with me. We went over all the veggies and all the food that I was taking in and we started researching. And some of the things that we found out were um, lots of leafy vegetables don't digest very well in some people. Things like broccoli are hard to break down in your digestive system um, and pass. Uh, certain rices that I was taking in, like whole grain and brown rice, um, wasn't doing well. We never ate white rice ever, but um, that was one of the things you needed to stay away from too. I never really considered gluten or dairy to be the problem. So at first I just took out the veggies. I took out, I found out that asparagus, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts were three of the things that just didn't do well with my body, which absolutely killed me because those are three veggies that I love so much. I love every veggie. There's not a veggie that I won't eat, um, but now I just have to take some of them away, which was sad, but it is what it is. So I took those out. And after taking those out, I added in a lot of squash. So I did yellow squash, zucchini, butternut squash, acorn squash, uh, pretty much any squash you can think of, we did it. And then I noticed a huge difference. I was like, okay, um, I'm still not there, um, but I'm taking, I'm still trying a new probiotic. It's seeming to do pretty well. Uh, changing out the veggies worked really well too. And I thought, okay, cool. This is great. This is great. We're making progress. So then I added the broccoli and the asparagus and the, um, and that was after like six to eight weeks, two months or so. I added those veggies back in and then everything went sailing again. So I was like, okay, all right, I'm listening. So I took those veggies back out and said, you know, if I do them, it's going to be like once every blue moon. Um, but it's okay, I'm not gonna miss them. I'm gonna miss them, but I'm not gonna miss them. It'll be fine. So I took those out and uh, started experimenting a little bit more. So then I got into dairy. Um, I took out dairy because I was doing yogurts and Greek yogurts, which I love. So I took out yogurts, which I don't eat a lot of yogurt anyway, but I do enjoy it. So which we've always done coconut, cashew, almond, any sort of nut milk. We haven't done cow's milk. Especially since we've been married, we haven't done cow's milk uh, because it is not good for your digestive system, especially for someone who has a rough time with digestion. So that wasn't a problem. But then I realized that our favorite protein has whey protein and whey is really heavy in dairy and it doesn't digest fast or at all <laughs> for certain people. So then I'm like, well, crap, <laughs> you know, I've got to, I've got to re reconstruct yet again, which I was always on, already on the right track of doing some pretty good stuff. Um, so then I took it out and I found my favorite protein, which I'll get in and talk to you about. Um, and then we actually have a protein that's on the way. So I'm, I'm sitting down here waiting on, uh, the, the shipping man <laughs> to show up and bring our new, uh, Stuff. So if you're watching this video later, head over to my social media and I will, um, at some point, I'll probably save it in a highlight of the new uh, ingredients and the new protein and supplements that we got. So anyway, took those out. Everything was good. Uh, I loved 
the way that I felt eating all the different squash. Uh, my body felt healthier. I felt stronger. I felt like I could um, really move because with all that stuff on your body and just like hanging on, I would I just felt drained energy was low i felt like i drug around every day like i needed six cups of coffee and some days i would drink up to six cups of coffee and i was like this is just not working like i just don't feel good um and i've never put sugar in my coffee i always put just creamer in my coffee so i recently found or not recently when i say recently i mean within the last year um i found a love for a non-dairy nut milk creamer so i either use nut pods or i use um almond milk creamer they now have a half and half that's dairy free uh, that i recently found so all of those uh the califia brand as well they're all really really good um so i just stick to those and don't put any sugar or anything else in my coffee i just do creamer and i measure it out two tablespoons for every cup which is the actual serving so it works out pretty good with all of that, I came up with this new routine, started working on it, and y'all, I can't even believe it. Like, my bloat is gone. I had lunch, what time is it? I had lunch like two hours ago, two and a half hours ago, and I'm hungry again. And for the past two years, that hasn't happened. And it was the craziest thing because I felt like I would get hungry, but I had so much in me that I just couldn't eat. Um, and bowel movements were not, I know that's kind of a touchy subject, but it just wasn't regular. Like it would be nothing for me to go maybe once, even twice a week, which is miserable. Our bodies need to take in and flush out, take in and flush out. That's what they're designed to do. And when they don't do that, something's wrong and you're holding on to a lot of excess toxins and even weight um and i knew that my body was a lot healthier than what it was but it was holding on to water weight and other weight and not flushing out what it needed to so i encourage you if you ever get into a situation like this start picking your diet apart start taking apart what you know and what has worked for so long because sometimes our bodies change especially as we get older i turned 30 this year 30. I know that's not old, but like, oh my gosh, like I'm leaving my 20s. That is really strange for me to say. But sometimes as we get older, we have to readjust and we have to take things out of our diet for a while and put them back in, see how our body reacts and then take them out again. So as we sit right now for the rest of my life until, you know, unless something else happens, like this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life because it's working for me. So I am eating 100% gluten-free and I'm eating 100% dairy-free. Now, um, before I go any farther, I wanna make sure that you understand as well that going gluten-free does not mean that you're eating healthier, okay? So don't mis miscommunicate that. Gluten-free, if you go gluten-free and you don't have an intolerance or an allergy to gluten, it could be just as bad for you as someone who is gluten intolerant and has an allergy and eats gluten so if you don't have an intolerance you need that in your digestion and in your body you need that so don't take it out but if you have an allergy to it take it out try it out and see if it works for you even for a month or so and just to see how your body reacts routine now consists of pretty much the same thing every day now, I know that seems boring to some people, but there's ways to make it not boring. Uh, you have to get creative, and I love, like, my creative juices flow when I'm in the kitchen because I love to cook. I am my grandmother made over. <laughs> I love to cook. I love to be in the kitchen, um, and she taught me all those things, and that's why that I love them so much. But I have really tried to stick to the same things because I know now what works for my body and I don't wanna break it because I know as soon as I break it, like things are not gonna go well. So my morning routine, or I'll just kinda of go through my full like up to lunch routine. So right now my morning routine is upon waking up, I drink 20 ounces of water. Like I just, I always keep like a smaller bottle, a 20 ounce bottle beside my bed 
so that when I wake up in the morning and my feet touch the floor, I can grab that bottle and I can start sipping on it as I head downstairs. Because I'm one of those people, as soon as my feet hit the floor, I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat. I'm going to the kitchen. I don't have to waste time like I'm going to the kitchen, I'm gonna eat, I'm ready. So I drink my water as I come downstairs. Um, and then once I get down here, I get the coffee started, get that ready. And then while the coffee's brewing, we have a juicer. I will also link the juicer down below. It's about a hundred bucks, give or take, but it is so worth the investment, especially if you juice a lot. Um, so every single morning I juice celery and this is organic celery. I usually buy this um, at Aldi, but they had this, uh, or I forgot to get it at Aldi this week. So I got it at Publix. And the organic ones actually have two different stalks or two different bunches. Do they call them bunches or bundles? You know what I mean? Two different bundles on the inside. So I take one whole bundle and I juice that bundle every single morning. So it make, you would think that makes a ton. It really doesn't make a ton. It probably makes like a cup of celery juice. Um, and so I drink my celery juice while I'm waiting on the coffee to brew. Now, one of the things that's really helped me is um, Miralax. Um, now, a lot of people are kind of iffy about Miralax because they think it's one of those things that's gonna make you run to the bathroom every 10 seconds. And for me, it's not one of those things. It just helps me stay regular every day because I'm not one of those people that's gonna go multiple times a day. It's just not gonna happen. I know that's a touchy subject, but this is important and we need to talk about it. So um, so I always mix that in and sometimes I don't take it every day, but when I do, I mix it in with my celery juice. Another thing with celery juice is you cannot make celery juice ahead of time and put it in the fridge because it will oxidize and it will make you sick. It will not be good for you not just not good for you so when you make celery juice you have about two hours to consume it before you don't need to consume it anymore so keep them in the fridge juice them first thing every morning it takes less than two minutes to juice and our juicer comes completely apart all the different particles and i can have it all juiced washed cleaned up in less than five minutes it's really quick so while I'm drinking my celery juice and possibly Miralax within that, and the coffee is brewing, and then I start getting my breakfast ready. And my breakfast is the same every single morning. I only stray away from it one day a week, and that's on Sunday mornings while we're getting ready for church. Um, so first thing in the morning on Sunday mornings, we always have a traditional breakfast, eggs, bacon, um, egg whites for me, whole eggs for Trent, um, put some spinach in our eggs, and uh, sometimes we do like a protein pancake and I'll show you the pancakes that I actually make for myself. So, cause Trent will do the usually um, Kodiak cakes, protein waffles, something like that. Um, but now I cannot do that, so I stick with something else. But other than that one day a week, I do the same breakfast every day. So Three fourths of a cup of dry rolled oats. Not steel cut, not quick cooking, rolled oats. Three fourths of a cup and they are gluten free. Bob's Red Mill is gluten free. Um, and then I put water in just like regular plain water on top of my oats. I do it the lazy way in the microwave. Um, and I let them kind of sit there and soak in the water while I'm fixing my celery juice just so it can start to absorb some of the water. Then I pop it in the microwave for a minute and a half. I take it out, your microwave may be different, but for our microwave, it's a minute and a half. I take it out, I add two tablespoons of PB2, which is uh, just powdered peanut butter, basically what that is. And then I add a teaspoon of organic cinnamon, and then a fourth of a cup of fresh organic blueberries. And I mix all of that up. Um, and then once I get it mixed up, I add my protein. Now I've got a new vegan protein on the way. And I'll, again, I'll show you that on my social media later. So keep an eye out for that. But right now, this is my tried and true, tri packed. Now this is the vanilla latte and cinnamon. Um, but they have other flavors. Uh, but this is the one I love. I love to stick with vanilla something because I feel like I can mix it with other things because I like to make my protein chocolate chip cookies with these. I like to make um, pancakes with these, you know, lots of different things. So I like to just keep it simple. But if you like the crazy flavors, go for those because they're all really good. I've tried them all. 
Um, but the cool thing about this is you've got one serving of superfoods and greens within every serving of this protein. It has uh, 4.8 grams of glutamine. Glutamine is incredibly great for your digestion. It's gonna help you digest easier, faster, the whole nine, nine yards look up glutamine i promise it's a good one and then you've got um, some probiotics in here which is great but then all these things over here you have on the side so it's soy and gluten free it is sugar free no artificial colors or flavors um there's cold filtered grass-fed whey but it's like the tiniest 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 smallest amount of whey that's in here so it's not something that's going to tear up your stomach i was a little nervous about it at first when i first tried this about two years ago not knowing that i was going to end up in the boat that i am right now um but it's really it doesn't bother me at all whereas a normal whey protein just tears me up and there's no artificial hormones or anything like that um one serving is one scoop that's 130 calories You've got four grams of carbs, zero sugars, 25 grams of protein per serving, um, and zero fats. I mean, it's really good stuff. So I really like this a lot. I think that you could really benefit from it. I think you could really love it. And I'm gonna show you up close all of these different things that I just showed you. And of course, I'll link it down below. Okay, so now that you've got a closer look at the protein, I really love Tri-Packed, and I think um, it's it's really one of the top protein brands, um, in my personal opinion, um, for people like me that have a digestive issue, but that also are looking for some extra protein added in via protein powder for different things. So th this one's just a really, really great option, and I really think you're gonna love it. So give it a try. I promise you can't go wrong. So after I have my breakfast in the morning, I always do my apple cider vinegar. And you want the apple cider vinegar with the mother. That's the one you want. So of course this one's organic. I get it with the mother. That's the little, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like that little stuff that floats down in the bottom. That's the kind of stuff that you want. You want that gunky stuff that floats around. The mother is what you want. So I take two tablespoons of this a day. Um, and if you watch my Instagram stories, you know that I literally take it like a shot. I don't savor it. Um, it's not appetizing. It's not fun to do just as a shot. But you know what? It takes like two seconds. That slight little burn in the back of your throat is gone. <laughs> and then it's done. But... Uh, this stuff is really awesome for digestion and it has literally changed the game for me. These two, if I can recommend anything else, these two right here. Drink your celery juice in the morning before you have anything else and take your apple cider vinegar. So I take a shot, or I say a shot, but I take a tablespoon of this um, around 10 a.m. So after I've had breakfast, kind of done my thing for a little bit, mid-morning, Take this and then right before I go to bed, I take another one, another tablespoon. So two tablespoons of that a day. Lunch, I always have four to six ounces of meat and I do weigh that on our food scale that we have. So the four to six ounces of meat is either organic chicken or organic uh, lean ground turkey. Uh, I do salmon or cod fillets. Cod is a fish if you're unaware. Um, so I stick with a lot of fish and a lot of chicken and turkey. I don't differ from that because it's what works for me and I know my body reacts to it well. So again, you know, make sure you're, try some things. Make sure your body works uh, or make sure your body really, you know your body to where you know what, how it's going to react. I don't know where my words are right now, but you get what I'm saying. Lunch, I always have four to six ounces of meat and I do weigh that on our food scale that we have. So the four to six ounces of meat is either organic chicken or organic uh, lean ground turkey. 
Uh, I do salmon or cod fillets. Cod is a fish if you're unaware. Um, so I stick with a lot of fish and a lot of chicken and turkey. I don't differ from that because it's what works for me and I know my body reacts to it well. So I also have a fourth a cup of carbs. Now my carbs are, are always like a good complex carb that actually digests well. Um, and for somebody like me, this can be a difficult one because uh, carbs are typically pretty heavy a lot of the times uh, on me and so I find it very difficult to find a good set of carbs. Um, so I stick with what I know. Um, I stick with sweet potatoes and then I also do brown jasmine rice. I got this one from Trader Joe's and it's a 48 ounce bag. I've had this one for a while but it's I don't I don't really know exactly but I want to say it was like four bucks three or four bucks at Trader Joe's but you can you can get this at Walmart or Publix or literally anywhere um, but the brown jasmine rice actually digests a lot better than whole grain or whole wheat brown rice um, because it's a little bit of a longer grain I think is correct I'm trying to look to be 100% sure I think it's a, a longer grain than regular brown rice if I'm saying that correctly, I'll double check. Um, but it just digests better and I feel better when I eat it. So I alternate between sweet potatoes and sometimes I roast them, sometimes I um, roast them on the stove, sometimes I do it in the oven, sometimes I bake them, sometimes I puree them. I do them all different ways so that I get a different taste and a different texture. So I don't feel like I'm eating the same thing every day. Um, and then standard, I just boil the rice, cook it like normal. But those are the three I stick, stick with as far as carbs go. And then for greens, I do two cups of veggies. Now, I stick with the same type of veggies. I always do some sort of salad, um, like a mixed green salad, always organic mixed greens, or I do organic spinach and